Good afternoon, everyone. Just before we get started, we've got more people coming in. So can I encourage you, if you're on the end of the row and there's some gaps in your rows, can you shuffle in a bit so we can see where the spare seats are? So if you've got some spare seats near you, see, let's see if we can fill them up. So let's squish in a bit so that we can get some extra people in. Thank you. And we'll be getting underway soon. Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Welcome everyone. Love to see your faces. Uh, let's uh, stand and sing a couple of carols. Oh. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child. Oh,
Welcome everyone, grab yourself a seat. It is wonderful to have you here on this Christmas Eve. It's great to be here. Who's feeling a little bit excited for tomorrow morning? I'm feeling a little bit excited. A special welcome too to our special guests today. Can you see our animals over here? So they're going to be here for the whole service to help create the scene of the very first Christmas. And then after the service, they'll be outside and we can all go and give them a pat and say hello to the um, animals. My name's Carolyn. I'm the vicar here at All Saints, and it's wonderful to be able to welcome you here today. A special welcome if this is your first time here ever. If you haven't been to church ever or in a while, it's wonderful to have you here. I'm looking forward to being able to sing some Christmas carols with you today. Just to let you know what's happening, we'll sing some Christmas carols together. We're going to hear about the Christmas story. And one of our traditions here at All Saints is we take up an offering, some money to donate to a health project we support in Uganda called One Day Health. And we're going to hear a little bit about that later on. So if you're able to support that, that would be amazing. Now, just if you've got really little kids and they would prefer to run around than sit, we have a room here and you can see the big window with front row seats of the animals and there's a screen there with the service. So you are welcome at any time to wander out, to watch through the window and to see what's going on through there. You're more than welcome to do that. Right now, we are going to watch a video, an oldie but a goodie from New Zealand that retells the Christmas story, and then we're going to have a wonderful item from the Williams Lemmy Fano. So sit back and enjoy as we remember the first Christmas. Mary was really scared when the angel came to her. There was one main angel called Gabriel. He was just a boy angel. She had wings and she was all white. The angel said, you're going to have a special baby. And it was God's son. She was quite excited. A bit scared. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have the son of God. And then she was like, I can't, I'm not married and stuff. Joseph, he was a builder. Mary told Joseph that she was having a baby called Jesus and it was God's son. He was like, what? Then Joseph saw the angel in a dream. I think Joseph was really scared. And then they went to Bethlehem. On a donkey. It would be quite hot. She had a baby in her tummy and she would have been really heavy. He said, Can we stop anywhere with these houses? They had to try and find somewhere for Mary to have the baby. They went around a whole neighbourhood. No, no Everyone said no in an angry voice because it was the middle of the night. And keep it. He said, yeah, there's a barn type thing around the back. They had to go to a barn and have their baby. It had sheep. It was like all hay and animal poop and sheep and things. Mary put baby Jesus in one of those troughs. They call the baby Jesus and they loved him. And he has two daddies, God and Jesus. They both needed to look after the baby. The angel told the shepherds to follow the star. There was three kings. They followed the star all the way to where Jesus was born.
when they get to this table, they go from the ears to the presents. And then they got some angels as visitors too. And then there was a giant sad. Everyone was there. Then there was a party. Kia ora, testing. Oh, mauri ora e te whānau, ko Seal tōku ingoa. My name is Seal. We are the Williams Lemmy whānau. Um, I'll introduce us. We've got Eli Sane here to my left. Say kia ora, Sane. She's seven years old and very shy right now. Massey's in the middle. Say kia ora. Massey's 11. We've got Vaioli, 13, and Fussy's close to 13. Taroha. <laughs> Um, we're going to be sharing a song that I wrote called Mui Mui Ki Hefe Tu'u. It's a Tongan lullaby. Our kids are very nervous at the moment. So I thought you guys could help us fuck a of them a little bit. So we're going to put our fingers like this. And I want you guys to go like this. Wairua. Pene. Can you do that? Wairua. Does that help? And you guys go like this. Does that work? Yeah, let's try it. All right. <coughs>
so beautiful. Would you like to stand?
Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pine to be. Grab yourselves a seat. We'll be singing some more carols shortly. I want to take a few moments to just reflect on this day. Why is it that around the world on this night, thousands and thousands, if not millions of people will gather, just like we are doing now, to sing the same songs? What are we remembering? And why bother all these years later? Just recently, I got a new laptop. I'm very excited. It's got a touch screen, which is thrilling, but not as thrilling as singing Oh Holy Night, but pretty good. But one of the things it has for the first time I've ever had is facial recognition. And so when I open it, it looks at me and almost every time says, couldn't recognize you. <laughs> and I have to put in my code, and I'm hoping I'm going into better lighting trying to put on better angles for my face. Why won't you recognize me? But it sort of reminded me of Christmas. We have this story of Jesus, the Son of God coming to earth, and yet the challenge is, do we recognize what has happened? This event that 2,000 years ago changed the dates in Christmas, do we recognize it? 
Do we see what has happened? And through history, there's been people that have seen the story and have celebrated, and others have walked away scratching their head in bewilderment. So what is it about the story of Mary and Joseph and a baby born laid in a manger? This is an incredible story. But interestingly, it's not for who you'd think it would be for. You know, we're told that Jesus is the Son of God, and all through history there's been people that say we're here, we worship God, some people might call them God-botherers, they turn up to church, and yet Jesus wasn't recognized by these people. Here is the story of the creator of the universe, the hands that brought this incredible scene, some of the scenes we've seen in the Hubble telescope this year. This is the story of the creator of the universe becoming a human being, and yet so many people didn't recognize him. And it was the people that you might think would recognize him didn't. And I wonder why is it that we often don't recognize, you know, this is the king of all kings, the son of the king of the universe. And I think it's because it's not what we are expecting. This year, our news has been dominated by the son of a king who's decided to change locations. And where has he decided to live to make his presence known? Here in California. And that's Prince Harry making his presence known in the world just down the road from Oprah in her grand house. And I think this is what people expect. If the king of the whole universe sends his son into the world, surely that son would choose a grand house to prove that he's in charge. Listen to me, I'm a person of influence. But instead, we see a scene like this, a baby born amongst animals. And what does it tell us? The creator of the universe is not afraid of our mess is not afraid of when things go badly. And this is a story I think we need to hear in our world. When 2022 didn't pan out the way that we liked, and neither did 2020 or 2021, the creator of the universe is amongst us in our mess. God is with us. The creator of the universe is not in a mansion far, far away. God has become one of us. And who saw this and who recognized it? It wasn't the rulers of the day. It wasn't the religious leaders, the people you'd expect to notice. Here's the son of God. But it was simple shepherds on a hillside who came to see the creator of the universe as a baby people on the peripheral of society, the poor, the marginalized, not the wealthy or the influential. This is who recognized the creator of the universe. And then in the story of Christmas, we see foreigners coming from a long way away, out of their place of comfort. And these people recognize this is the creator of the universe, the king of kings. And so as we think of the scenes that we see at Christmas time, nativity scenes, where we see Mary and Joseph, this is an incredible reminder. When the creator of the universe came to earth, it wasn't who we expected to recognize him. The outcasts, the foreigners, the people who felt lonely and overlooked and abandoned, these are the people who could see God's presence. And so this Christmas, here is a challenge for you. If you have ever felt overlooked by God, if you have ever felt excluded or an outcast or on the peripheral, this story reminds us of this fact. The creator of the universe sees you and knows you 
and cares about you. And so as we face another year, whatever it will bring, God is with you. God cares about you. And you can bring your troubles and your concerns to the creator of the universe who is not afraid of our mess. And if you are someone who has heard the story for years and knows it and treasures it, there's another challenge to share this love and this good news to the world around us. And this is why we take up an offering for Uganda because God cares about every person on this planet. God cares about you and me and God cares about people in rural Uganda who don't have access to health care. So I'm going to finish what I'm saying by sharing with you a video from our friends Nick and Tessa. Nick is a doctor and he sets up these incredible health centres in Uganda. And this is the true spirit of Christmas. God becomes one of us to show us that he loves us. And God challenges us. Share this love to the world around you. So let's check out Nick and Tessa's message to us from One Day Health in Uganda. Thanks so much, wonderful people of All Saints Church, for supporting One Day Health. Thanks for sending money from Berwyn to northern Uganda to help us reach 36 One Day Health Centres to help our wonderful nurses treat over 40,000 patients in the most remote rural parts of Uganda. Same kind of remote rural places where Jesus was born and where he still lives. Hello, Hall fans. I'm by the name of Negi Edmond. We are in Oshim Health Centre with Dr. Nick and others. Uh, we have come, they have come just for a visit to see how the facility is working. So I'm grateful to see them. Also, I'm grateful to hear from you people. Fantastic. Yeah, Merry Christmas, All Saints. This is our team. You are so welcome. Nice one. <laughs> Before we join together and sing some more carols, let's pray together. God, you promised promise to be with us, and this is the story of Christmas, that you came as a baby, were laid in a humble manger. And thank you for the reminder that you are with us, that you care about us, that you do not forget us. And God, I pray that if we have ever felt on the margins or excluded, that this Christmas we would know that you care about us, you see us, and you love us. And God, stir within us a passion and a heart to share your love, your welcome, your community, being with us, with the world around us. Amen. Let's stand together as we continue to sing our Christmas carols. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. with 
have a kid come and help me because we are going to light the Christmas candle. We have got, I can see you there, through there. Do you want to come up? Yes, you. In the tie-dye t-shirt. Come on up and help me. Can you move your mic stand just for a second? Come and help me. And after we've lit this, I want you to all turn around and wish each other a Merry Christmas before we finish by singing Feliz Navidad. Okay, can you light this one in here? This is our Christmas candle. Thank you very much, Blake. Now let's turn and wish each other a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Blake. Thank you. Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año de felicidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año de felicidad you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, no cero año de felicidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, no cero año de felicidad. their way out and as they're making their way out just a few things before you go you will find people in gray t-shirts holding boxes that say one day house where are those people there we go we've got ben come on in people come on in come over here isaac here we go so you'll see these people with one day health if you'd like to support the work of the one day health in uganda grab them pop some money in to there the other thing is we gather like this every Sunday morning at 10.30. So if you would ever like to come and join us, we'd love to have you. There's just one thing. We take a break over summer. So we start back again on January the 22nd. January the 22nd, we'd love to have you come and join us. So now, as you go into Christmas Day, let me offer you this Christmas blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and for all eternity. Amen.